Dr. Eugene Isaac says Ebola in the United States is a new phenomenon and that the medical community has had to learn new and important things quickly. We all know how to put on sterile gowns and sterile clothing, but we don't know how to take it off. We've not been trained that there's a special way of taking it off in order to protect ourselves. The two Dallas nurses infected with Ebola likely contracted the virus while they were taking their protective gear off. Um, my initial reaction was, oh my, um, especially because they're saying that she, you know, used protective equipment. Is there, was there a flaw? Are we, you know, are we not prepared? Are we using something wrong? Are we not doing the appropriate procedure? Well, it's, it's not something foreign to this department because we actually had a nurse who works in this department whose father died of Ebola in Africa. He was a physician caring for the patients. So it's something we kind of had uh, some awareness on. Some of the nurses told me they are often asked by friends and family if they would be willing to treat an Ebola patient. Do you think it would come here? I can't believe, you know, it's close. You know, we've got people that are being infected. You know, how do you feel about that? Would you take care of somebody? Um, those thoughts and questions are coming, you know, to the forefront, you know, here every day within our family and friends as well as here within the department. How did you answer that question? Would you treat somebody? I, w I would treat somebody with um, the infection um, as long as I had the appropriate equipment in order to do so.